everyone welcome to the channel this is james and in this video i will be doing a review of the last of us episode one on hbo so spoiler alert if you're not caught up and i won't give every little detail i'm hoping you've actually seen the show many of you played the game the show based on an award-winning game but the first episode of the last of us i thought it was good i'm really enjoying it i haven't played the game but i have seen some cinematics online and stuff and it seems very close very similar A lot of the same scenes, camera angles, things like that. I really like the characters. I like the actors, of course. A couple of Game of Thrones veteran actors in there. But I think they go really well together. I think the scenes played out well. I think the imagery was pretty amazing. And, of course, this is a Walking Dead channel. So, of course, I really like the post-apocalyptic uh, outbreak type stories. But this story opens up in 2003. It shows us Joel and his daughter, his brother Tommy, and the things that they go through in the initial part of the outbreak. Uh, soldiers, the military, they're cracking down and pretty much shooting everybody within a certain zone. And so Joel and his daughter get shot by a soldier with his daughter dying. So, of course, that really affects Joel going forward in the story. And we do bounce 20 years from 2003 to 2023. So it gets us up to present day. In the game, it went from 2013 to 2033 but they changed that and that's fine so we're at present day as far as in their world and it did explain at the beginning kind of what it is so unlike the walking dead that never really explained uh, what's going on this show pretty much explains it right out of the bat of course related to the real world zombie virus that happens in ants and stuff like that so in nature so it's kind of based on a real world thing which is cool and of course the infected it's a fungus that infects the brain and their stages unlike the walking dead where yes there's different walkers but they're pretty much just walkers in this show there's like four stages at least of these things first stage they become violent the second stage i think runners uh, they're really coming after you they're real fast third stage clicker the fungus has grown over their eyes so they can't see so they use echolocation so they make a clicking noise which is kind of creepy of course and then i think bloaters maybe that we might see a few of that if they live long enough it just grows all over their bodies and stuff so some different stages uh, of creatures in this story which is really cool so that's a different type of danger you know that's out there of course we still got humans that are going to be a danger as always but we got you know different stages of creatures which is really cool i like the opening scenes when we were introduced to the first one old granny you know turned into one she pretty much had bitten the whole family and stuff and came after joel's daughter and that little stretch right there i think you know that's good stuff i think that's what the walking dead started missing a little bit is the creepiness of it all you know like the eerie like oh my god you know they tried to do it but it just in some stories but they just didn't hit the nail on the head like they did in the earlier episodes but i really liked this um going into the unknown sarah figuring out what the heck is going on federal disaster response agency fedra you'll see it on patches you'll see it on stuff they're pretty much the ones running things once they started these different in cities different cities you know the military at the beginning bombed everything that's why the buildings are leaning on each other and they're all bombed out the military really bombed everything trying to get the infection under control. But then in a few cities, you can see it in this shot here as far as the walled off city. This is Boston. So Fedra is controlling these different communities and the different cities that are walled off, these quarantine zones. And they're pretty strict. They hang people in this one scene as far as just doing, you know, hey, you're not supposed to go outside. You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do this. So they're really strict as far as what you can do food they give you just everything so there is a resistance and they're called the fireflies and that's uh joel 20 years now you know into the outbreak he's become a smuggler he's got a friend tess so we meet tess as well she seems pretty badass you know like she's a diehard fighter survivor and even though joel works kind of like day job stuff like little activities and stuff to try to get some um, credits and stuff you know, he still has the smuggle on the side and things like that. So it's a crazy hard world. So doing the deal with the fireflies where there's the shootout and everything, the battery, it's no good. That was a, a deal that was going to fall through anyway. The shootout and everything causes the fireflies not to be able to get Ellie, the main kid, you know, the main focus of what they're trying to do. 
get Ellie out of the city. So that task turns to Joel and Tess. And so they take Ellie out of the city. Of course, there at the end, they figure out that she's infected. And we hear that 80s song, Depeche Mode song, saying that trouble's coming pretty much. And we see them walking out into the city. It's all ruins and stuff, lightning happening, which is really cool. But from the radio guy reaching out to other people across the land and stuff and helping out, you know, uh, Joel talk to Tommy, his brother. And that's the whole reason for the car battery and everything. You know, Joel's trying to get to Tommy. So that's an initial thing. But then they get Ellie and they got to get Ellie you know, somewhere as well. So there's a couple things going on as far as Joel's concerned. He wants to get to Tommy, but he's got a job per se now of getting Ellie wherever she's going. But when he gets her to where she's going, supposedly he's going to get a truck. He's going to get stuff that's going to help him get to Tommy. Holy shit, I'm actually outside. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. But with the Ellie, she's pretty smart. She figured out the radio code and everything. So she's not just some dumb kid. And she knows that she could be a possible cure. And she knows everything involved. Like she knows she's going to give herself to the possible cure. You know, I think she knows she could die and all that kind of stuff. So she's in on it. She's wanting to. She understands uh, the stakes. She understands what's going on. She wants to help humanity. So I think that's where Ellie is. And Joel and Tess, of course, they're just figuring out she's infected. So we're going to see how that plays out. And of course, they beat up that soldier and they're going to have soldiers coming after them. That's kind of the song maybe at the end and stuff like that saying danger coming. So even though they're going out into the wild, they got soldiers probably coming after them. Plus all of the other dangers that they're going to have to put up with. But there's so many details to the show, so many Easter eggs to the game, of course, and the behind the scenes stuff of a voice actor playing one of their parts in the show, some of the voice actors playing other parts, how the girl that voiced Ellie in the game is going to play her mother in the show. And there's a lot of little details, Easter eggs, behind the scenes stuff with this show. And I may have to do separate videos on that. But it's not just an award winning game. It's the story. It's an award-winning story. It's the emotion and the impact of the story that really made that a great game and thus should make it a pretty great TV show. The first episode is really good. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and we'll continue this discussion and look for more reviews, Easter egg videos, different things like that on The Last of Us right here on the channel. This is James in Nashville as always. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.